Hello ladies and gentlemen. Thought I would make this quick video because um, I just put out the Alaska Borg uh, video wall which has eight videos in it. But um, the mistake I made was that see, normally when I get the zip files from the monthlies or anywhere else, I don't use the import button in Explaindio. What I do is I open up the zip and then I create my own folder and then put it inside of the direct the, the slides directory because I want to name these things the way I want and then I put all my monthly um, videos in one folder instead of you know all the different folders except for these here I'm considering removing some of these and just making one folder with the ones that I want and taking the others and put them on a um, external drive because if you know just imagine you getting a set of slides videos images svgs every month just think of what your drive is going to look like after a year so uh and then if you don't have at least 25 percent of the c drive empty then it slows down your computer performance so i'm um, that's how i i manage the file so if you look in this slides folder and if you look up here you see it says slides explain the so in the explain your folder inside the slides folder these are all the slides if you have loose files in here then you would get that root error that skip got uh, when he tried to install my last um, uh, package so what I did I went back and I uh, put it in a folder so that if you use the import button when it comes in here it'll say uh, Alaska Borg video wall uh, actually they're here in this test folder for me because I just want to make sure that everything works so see they're inside a folder they're not loose in the slides folder so anytime you see that root error that means the root is down here outside of a folder so the path needs to be slides folder and then whatever uh, your slides are inside of that folder so I just want to make this short video to make that point clear but also know that if after a while, after you've created slides and you come in here and you rename your folders, then some of those slide projects are not going to work because it's going to be looking for con uh, construction guy. If you made this, we looking for character construction guy. So if I go in here and change this, which, you know, I don't have, I haven't used that construction guy on anything. If I come in here and change this just to construction guy or just to construction period, if I find some construction women, which I actually have found and I'm working on putting that together, then now any project I've made with the character construction guy folder will no longer work because now it's not the same path. So that's something to consider. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go through here and clean up all this stuff and change uh, some of the naming. So when I come in here, I'll know exactly what is where. You know, so because that just seems to me to be the easiest and most effective way to do this for me. Okay, because I, I don't like using that import uh, button. I like to know exactly where my stuff is going. So I put my slides in the slides folder, and I come into the images folder, and I put them in the folders the way I design them. Uh, that way, it's easier for me to find stuff. Because I mean, I'm sure I have three or four thousand files uh just in here not you know not counting all the slides that are starting to coming out and 2.0 is coming out uh you know so and this the marketplace is going to explode so most slide packs are 15 20 slides that times 12 months um and then you know you're creating videos so you got to remember that all your videos are in the export video folder and that takes up a lot of space so i just i just wanted to just make that point because there are a lot of people here who may be familiar with using their computer but they may not be familiar with the internal workings of the file structure and that is what i'm talking about right now all right so have a good friday and uh, hopefully it's warm where you are thank you very much